thought this was videotaped. Hello everybody and welcome back to another thrilling installment of my YouTube channel. <laughs> so, um, I was really bored today. I had nothing to do. I mean, there was an essay that I should be writing, but I figured why not save that for Sunday and make a YouTube video. So here I am. Now, if you are new here, my name is Danielle Davis. I am a student at Fordham University Lincoln Center, and I'm currently a dance major, which means that I also go to Alvin Ailey along with Fordham. Um, I thought it would be really great to make a quick, like, sort of two-month check-in, because I've been in this program for about two months now, and so I kind of just wanted to talk about my first impressions and sort of give you, like, the vibe of the program so that if you're interested in it, you know what to expect. Later, I'm thinking of doing kind of like a day in the life sort of video, so if you would be interested in that, let me know in the comments down below, and if you would like to see more content regarding College in New York City, the Fordham Ailey Alliance, anything like that, make sure that you hit subscribe and check in for all of my new videos. Let's jump right in. First off, I just wanted to say that I am super impressed with just how nice everybody here is at um, Ailey and Fordham. The first thing that you should know if you are thinking of applying to Fordham is that it is a Jesuit Catholic college. So um, it's not just like your typical Catholic college, it's a Jesuit Catholic college. And the Jesuits are sort of a branch of Catholicism that emerged to sort of, uh, how do I explain the Jesuits? They're like a social justice driven Catholics. Like they're, they're very good people. They're very interested in social justice causes and they make a point to make all their students aware of like current events and everything, which I think is great. And that also means that they're very accepting of all different races, religions, backgrounds, anything. Like it doesn't matter if you're Catholic or not, you will still find a home at Fordham because you know, they accept everybody, so. <laughs> Another great thing is that Ailey is also very diverse and being a dancer from the Midwest, it was really, really great to find a home, so, to, oh my God. being a dancer from the Midwest, it was really great to find a studio that such an emphasis on diversity and um, it's just been fabulous so far. So I just wanted to say that. I know that Fordham's dining program, dining, catering experience gets a really like bad reputation for some reason. Like I've seen so many videos on YouTube just slamming the dining hall food. But it's not that bad. Like I was really confused when I showed up because I thought the food was going to be horrible. And it's not horrible. Like it's kind of up to the standard of all the other, I mean it's up to the standard of a lot of other colleges. So like obviously you're not gonna like every single option that they have, that's just normal. But there are a lot of options and they're getting more and more every week. So don't be scared off by any YouTube videos that are saying like, oh, like Fordham's food sucks because I can tell you from experience, it really doesn't. Here are some things to keep in mind if you are interested in applying for this program. Now, first of all, um, with the audition process, it's kind of stressful, but once you get past it, you'll feel like a huge weight has been lifted off your shoulders. So first of all, you have to apply to Fordham, and the grades are a huge, huge part of acceptance into the BFA program. So make sure that you have your grades up before you consider applying to this program, because they really do take that into account. So apply to Fordham first, and then later in the year you audition for Ailey separately. The audition process is basically a ballet class, a modern class, uh, an interview, and then you have to perform a solo. So that's that's basically what the audition is. And I remember that it took like a really long time for them to get back to me. I think um, the main reason that was was because they had to first of all get uh, an acceptance from Fordham and then take into account your dancing. So it's like you have to be accepted by two different institutions in order to get into the program. So I was very stressed out. All my friends back home knew exactly where they were going already and I still didn't know, like I was still auditioning. And this is just sort of like in the dance world in general. It's always gonna take you a longer time to find out because of all the auditions and things you have to go through. So 
but hey, it's worth it in the end. So I don't know if I've done a great job of explaining this audition process, but once the audition is over and you've been accepted, you're like, great, now I can get started and go to my program. Um, another thing that you should know about the Ailey Fordham program is that they will basically choose the first two academic classes for you and all your dance classes. So the registration process was actually quite easy because there wasn't like the matter of like, oh, like what class do I take? Like, do I pick this or this or this? So like, for, because for incoming freshmen, they kind of have it mapped out for you already. So they kind of pick like the best classes that will work for you and your schedule. And so I'm taking philosophy and composition this first semester and I'm loving the dance classes so far. What's great about Ailey is that there's live accompaniment for every class and the studios are amazing so that's not been an issue at all. And uh, you've already seen my dorm which I'm sitting in now. If you are interested in seeing more of my dorm, I do have a dorm tour video and or how I moved in. I also have a college to move in video, so make sure to check those out if you haven't. And if you're interested in the Alvin Ailey Summer Intensive, and if you just want to like get a, a quick taste of the Alvin Ailey experience, I also have two videos up about the Alvin Ailey Summer Intensive program, which you should definitely check out. Another thing that you should be aware of if you're applying for this program is that you are not required to take math or... You have to take a social science, but you don't have to take a, like, science science. I don't know, what is it called? You don't have to take, like, chemistry or biology or anything like that, but you do have to take a social science. So, say, anthropology or sociology or something like that. But, um, yeah, the dancers are not required to take math. That was, like, one of the main things that drew me to this program because I am not a fan of math. But if you do still want to take math, it's totally open to you. You can minor in math, you can double major in math. A number of dancers double major in other things. In fact, I am planning on double majoring next semester in anthropology, but you're not allowed to double major your first semester because it's just like they want you to get accustomed to the program. And honestly, I think that's like the best decision because it takes a while to get used to. So Halloween was great. This year I um, had to throw together a Halloween costume last minute, but I decided to go as a hippie. And basically what I did was I had to, I had to be able to dance in it, so I basically just put this headband on. I wore these glasses to the studio, but I didn't keep them on while I was dancing. And then I had like these flared pants and like this shirt with like a 70s font on it. And I was like, whoa dude, psychedelic, like I'm a hippie. Look how hard I tried. Oh, but seriously, everybody at Ailey was dressed up and it was super, super fun. Um, even the teachers were dressed up. And actually, I think that I danced better because of it. So honestly, we should just make every day Halloween and just dress up all the time. That's what, that's what I'm thinking. I had the privilege to go to the Global Citizen Festival. Um, this was back in September, but I just wanted to recount the experience. So like. I went to the Global Citizen Festival with some of my roommate's friends. And it was going to be a super fun event because a bunch of famous singers and actors were going to be there performing. So like Shawn Mendes, Janelle Monet, Cardi B, The Weeknd. And who else was there? There was a lot of famous singers there. And Hugh Jackman was hosting it. It was like a very star-studded event. And we actually had pretty good seats for like when we showed up. So it was a super fun event, except for at the very, very end, wherein um, people in the crowd um, were starting to leave because Cardi B had just performed and they were ready to go home, but the weekend was still coming up. So my friends and I thought, Oh, like we can we can go toward the front now. Like there's less people, so like we were able to like go more toward the front. So we scoot up toward the front, and um, slowly but surely we start we start to hear some people saying like move toward the side, move toward the side, and like the crowd starts to just like keep moving toward the side. And eventually, I'm realizing like oh they're not gonna they're not gonna stop moving. And then we hear people saying get out immediately. Like you need to leave the premises. Like this leave leave go. Uh, so my friends and I were very panicked. I thought there was an active shooter. My, one of my other friends thought there was a bomb. 
and people were just running frantically, and I kid you not, I think I almost died. Like, like we were running for our lives through Central Park, being crushed by all, all the other people around us. This is, I'm from Kansas. This is like one of my first like huge big crowd events. Like I've been to concerts before, but nothing like this. Like nothing like outdoors with like these giant crowds with like this many stars at it and this many like news anchors at it. So like I'm from Kansas and I'm running for my life through Central Park with all these people. Like the fences are being knocked over that were surrounding the concert area. People are crawling over it and knocking people over and shoving people to get out of this concert. And then my friend and I run through the swamp that has become Central Park trying to escape, trying to get away from whatever the danger is and we're like running for our lives and then we find out later that there was no bomb and no active shooter or no nothing. It was just that a fence had fallen down and someone thought it sounded vaguely like a bomb and so we missed the weekend because of a falling fence. This video is going nowhere. Like this is all just a bunch of like random clips of me like talking. But like this had a this video like had a point at the beginning and and now it's like it's just gone. Mainly, I think that the best advice I can give you if you're planning on applying to this program Make sure that you uh, take into account your grades. Make sure that you have prepared an audition solo that really speaks to who you are and that you feel really comfortable doing when you're nervous. And um, just like have fun with it, honestly. Like don't stress out, you'll do fine. And then once you get here, I'd say just really focus on meeting as many people as you can during the orientation process because that's when I met a lot of people, a lot of dancers and a lot of non-dancers who are really really sweet so I'd say overall my Fordham experience has been great so far and I will check in with you guys later I think I'm doing a day in the life sort of video so if you'd be interested in seeing that make sure to comment down below make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this content say goodbye Francisco I know who we belong Oh, you are the music in me It's living in all of us It's brought us here because You are the music in me Na 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 Ay na 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 Yeah yeah na na na